Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Retired Vet Show. President Trump is to hold a campaign event in the Bronx tonight. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. You are in a deep blue state of New York, and you're going to go down into the Bronx to hold a campaign event as a Republican. That's bold, because the vast majority of those people there are diehard Democrats, and they're not going to vote for you. But at least you're putting forth an effort to reach out to the low-income, middle-class voters there in New York and say, hey, if your life and your uh, way of living is better today than it was four years ago, then vote for Biden. But if your life today, your um, cost of living is more expensive to you, if you have less money at your disposal, if everything in your life is crumbling because you can't afford it, and when your life was better under Trump, why wouldn't you give Trump a, a chance and vote for him? Just because you're a diehard Democrat does not mean you can't vote for a Republican. Because when you go in that booth and they close that little uh, curtain or you're doing it electronically and you're all by yourself and you're looking at the names down the list, you got two choices. Well, you might even have three choices. You might have R RFK Jr. I mean, you can write it. I don't, I don't know how some states do it. I mean, you could vote for somebody else other than Biden and Trump, but you can compare and contrast the two presidencies because they were back to back. The four years of President Trump and the four years of Biden, even with the pandemic, life was better than when the four years under Biden. There was not over 10 million people coming into the country. There was not over a hundred and some billion dollars going out to Ukraine when the people here in the United States are sleeping out on the street. Just saying, your livelihood was better. You are more secure in your country than you are today. When you have illegals flooding the border, they're coming into your communities, taking your resources, kicking your kids, like in Chicago, kicking those kids out of, of these facilities to put illegals there or taking over your parks. And now your kids are without. And you're the, and you are the American citizen because the government has rolled out the red carpets for the illegals because most of them are sanctuary cities and they are doing more for the illegals than they are for the very citizens that are paying the taxes in this country. State of the art facilities there in New York for the illegals, Xboxes, Playstations, the food of their choice, big screen TVs. And the people right down the street are living on the street, homeless, or sleeping out in the train station. But the illegals are sleeping on a five-star hotel. That's the Biden. Uh, uh, that's the Biden America that we're living under. So if that's the type of country that you want. Then you vote Biden. But if you want this country to roar back, and for you to start having more money in your pocket, for you to pay lower gas prices, then you better vote for Trump. Just saying. The options of it, it, it's so clear to me. I don't see how other people can't see it, but they are so have this hatred for Trump because they call him a racist. No one can prove to me how he's a racist. Because before he was president, he was palling around shoulder to shoulder with Al Sharpton, Jesse Jackson, the Congressional Black Caucus, the rappers, the very people now that are against him. So you tell me how he's a racist. The only reason why they're doing it, because they want you to vote Democrat. And the only way they can get you to vote Democrat is that they use the race card. And that gets the black community all in their emotions and they go out and vote because they think that he's a racist. But in reality, they know that he's not. Oh, yeah, don't forget the abortion topic. They always got to run on those two. He's a racist and he's going to take away your, uh, <clears throat> your body, your choice for you to go out and have an abortion. But remember one thing, black women. You are murdering more black babies than any other race in the United States. We are less of a people in 2024 than if you had not murdered those 20 million babies that you murdered because you would listen to what the Democrats told you to do. Margaret Sanger enjoys this. She's turning over her grave happy that we are murdering the black babies in this country at a, an alarming rate. But, you know, some people just won't get it. They just don't understand. They just going to vote Democrat. But 
Again, he'll be down in, in the Bronx for y'all people who are going to go to that event. And, of course, you're going to have your detractors there protesting against him. There's only been like two other candidates on the Democrat side that have pulled as many people as, as President Trump. That will be Barack Obama and the socialist Bernie Sanders. Everybody else, not even close. Not even close. So he can command a presence and people to come to his rally. Let's see what he can do in New York this year. But let me know what you think down in the comments. If you can like this video, hit that like button. Please share the video. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing to the Retired Vet Show. God bless you all. Stay safe.